I imagine every character is a blank canvas. And what I do is I take my ideas about the character as informed by the script, and they take their ideas about the character as informed by the script, and we throw them at the canvas. And whatever works for both of us, that's what we use to paint the picture of who that person is. Do actors drive the production of movies more than people realize? For sure. I think, I mean, well, in what sense, actually? That's a better... Okay, so suppose once you have a certain name attached, more money will follow See, suit? There you go. That's what, I, yeah, that's what I thought you meant. Of course, yeah. That's, I mean, 100%. 100%. Um, actors, you know, an actor being involved in your project means that, like, you know, a certain caliber of actor means a certain caliber of budget. You know, so certain movies that you want to be able to do all these crazy things can only happen if, you know, a bigger name gets involved. So um, it's kind of, yeah, they definitely do. Um, actors, at least at this level, you know. What about this myth that actors are, they're at home and they have this pile of scripts that are just sort of sitting on their coffee table and they can just pick which one they want to work on and... It's super easy for them. It depends on the level of actor, you know? Certain level of actors, yeah, they have a ton of offers and they say no to a bunch of stuff. And the ones that they do say, you know, yes to is, you know, far between and it has to hit like a certain quote and stuff. But then you have like other actors that are actively campaigning for roles and doing stuff. It depends on the project. It depends on if they connected with the project. It depends on if they want to work with a certain actor that's already involved with a project or a certain director that is already involved with a project or a producer. Um, you know, and it's, it's, it's the, the business evolves and grows each, each, you know, it, it keeps dying and being reborn uh, every time something new comes into it. Um, so, you know, I, and then you see a lot of actors that are just going like, you know what, I want to make a movie where I'm playing this role and uh, and I'm not getting offered that, so I'm just going to put the whole production together myself. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask next without naming names, but I wonder if there are actors, I'm sure there are, that are a victim of their own success. And then people think, oh, well, my little indie film, even though I'm paying them, they'd never say yes to it. Yeah, probably. So then they don't work because they're, no one's reaching out to them, you know. Maybe, maybe, but but also, I mean, I don't know, because right now it's like, you know, I've, I've had, without naming names, I've had tons of actors where I'm like, this person hasn't done a movie in five years. Let me see if I can get them, and I get turned down. Oh, you know, so it's, so it's maybe they're super picky or this or that. Like, who knows? Um, you know, I, because I, for a while, I was like, let me hunt down people that have not done something in a while and see if I could get them. And like, a lot of the time, they're like, nah. Okay. So, so there's a reason then. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought like oh, I thought like you. I was like, this is, yeah. If they haven't done something in a few years, this is the perfect person. But no, it's not always. It's not always the case. Do you think most actors are waiting by the phone, or or the the? I mean, email? that's a tough question because most people have a phone in their pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're waiting for someone to email them with with a contract um, or with a script. I don't know. I mean, I feel like it's levels of actors. People that are trying to get their break, maybe. Um, but, like, I think actors that are already, you know, have blown up and stuff, they're they're more so just, they're already involved with some TV show or some, you know, like you have Netflix that has almost every actor or Marvel that has almost every actor doing something with them now at this point. You know, it's a lot of, a lot of people are working right now. Um, it's, you know, so it's, it's interesting. It's an interesting time. There's a lot of content being made. How much power does an actor have in getting a film made? Uh, I mean, it, it depends on the size of the actor, but like, you know, uh, quite a bit. I mean, you know, just to throw out like a random actor without like, I do not know this person, but if Tom Cruise said, hey, I want to make this movie, that movie is getting made. Like, sure, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, if, if, if Brad Pitt goes, I really like this script, this should be made. It's getting made. Leonardo DiCaprio, like there's, there's certain, you know, and you can't say that about directors nowadays, you know, a director might really love a script. The big director might really love a script that might be more of a struggle to get made unless they have one of those actors on board. How do you build trust with a name actor? Showing that you care, showing that you care about the quality of the movie showing that you're not going to make them look bad showing that you have a thought process 
on why you're doing things, being able to communicate and fully realize and and um, explain your thought process. Um, you know, I think that's how. How do you create a safe environment on set and maybe, you know, give it, because I'm sure there's people coming up to them while on set. No? No. 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 I've, I've never seen that. That usually happens at the very end of the shoot when the actor's wrapped. Then people will be like, oh, I want to take a picture with you. But everybody, in my experience, has been very professional up until then. Okay, so you don't need to protect them in some way. No, you don't need to be like, oh, no, no, no pictures. They're not like, nobody's, you know, your crew members aren't going like, hey, let me take a picture with you like during the day of filming. You know, it's, it's when they're wrapped on the whole movie, you know, people will be like, hey, let's take pictures. Well, not so much pictures. Oh, okay. I, I think uh, people probably know that there, that there's an etiquette that, that you don't cross. But I mean, like, hey, you know what? That was great, man. Um, by the way, I got this script. Can I just um? Can I just give this I to you over the weekend? I don't think you that don't think happens. so. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know if that happens <laughs> at all. I don't know if that happens. Maybe I've never seen it. Maybe, but I, you know, I haven't seen it happen. Okay. All right. So, the, so pretty much everyone knows their place, and it's there's not a lot of crossover. I think so, or I've just been really lucky. You know, that too. Yeah. But I think so. What do you think they want from you when you're on set with an actor? Name, talent, first timer, whatever. What do you think they want from you as a director? I think an, an act, most actors that I've dealt with want to feel like they're not being like hung out to dry. That you're not just like leaving them in the wind. That you have some type of idea of storytelling, some type of, uh, a, a clear idea of what their character arc is and why they're saying certain things. A lot of the time an actor might wanna know why you feel their character is saying something in the script, why they're saying these exact lines, what, what, is the, what is the emotion they're trying to get across. And if you're able to communicate with them about that and you're talking with them about that and they understand where the camera is and what the scene is, you know, that that's what they want to know um you know and just being like you know oh yeah you're in this scene you're mad like that's not going to work you start doing that then you're going to start having an actor that doesn't really want to trust in you you have to be able to earn that trust by having clear communication of what your vision is for their character and that vision can change based upon you know the conversations you have with them. But being able to have those conversations where you dig into the character together and you imagine, like I imagine every character is a blank canvas. And what I do is I take my ideas about the character as informed by the script and they take their ideas about the character as informed by the script and we throw them at the canvas. And whatever works for both of us, that's what we use to paint the picture of who that person is. And so like, you know, having those conversations and being able to be like, hey, you know, remember we talked about in, in this situation, your character would be feeling like very reserved because they don't really like blah, 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 whoever the, whoever the person is or, you know, I don't know, or like their mother, you, you would have this feeling because your mother was, you know, uh, this character reminds you of your mother in this circumstance or whatever, right? Um, whatever it is, sorry, I'm just trying to come up with some, some thing, but, uh, <laughs> Being able to call back to those conversations that you had in the beginning uh, is, 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 I think, important. What if it's not working with an actor? How, how, do you, how do you gently let them know? What do you mean not working? Well, what if the emotion you want from them is just not coming out? There's a, let's say it's a, it's a scene where somebody's begging someone to, to give them another chance, and there's just, it's just not I like, translating. I like playing to people's strengths. So if somebody... You know, if they're not strong in that type of thing, come up with a way that your their character would be reacting that is realistic to the circumstance. So I play towards somebody's strengths. You don't want to try and, you know, have somebody who's not strong at doing a certain thing do something that they're not strong at. You play towards the strength that they have. So you adjust the scene in a way that goes, okay, well, you know, maybe this person's begging for them, right? But it, maybe it's a more reserved begging that, that comes in from, you know, that bubbles up from inside and, and they're welling back tears and they're trying to beg, but they don't know how, right? Maybe they're not able to keep eye contact. They're breaking eye contact. They can't look at the person because of how ashamed they are inside of themselves, right? You change the whole scene, right, to fit what the person can do. 
and it still keeps the emotion of the moment, but maybe it just shifts the meaning of the moment, right? But it still maybe fits the character's arc that you're creating. So you find while working with somebody what their strengths are, and then you play towards their strengths. You don't want to hang them out to dry and have them do something that they're not strong at. That's excellent. So you're not making an introverted character who's more internal um, become this like lioness and start roaring if that's not their style anyway. Right, exactly. Okay. Exactly, unless it's something that really needs to push for that moment and they've been playing introverted from the beginning because that's what you had talked about, but they knew they were going to ramp up to this, right? But like, you know, ultimately like, you know, people show you and tell you who they are and what they play towards, like you listen to them. You have to listen to what somebody's good at. Like, you know, when you're, when you're looking at it like a football game, like if you're there and somebody's your running back and you hand them the football and they run the ball over and over again, you know, uh, you're not going to go, hey, listen, you're really good at running the ball. Let's have you be the quarterback now, right? <laughs> like you're going to be like, okay, like, you know, play towards somebody's strong suit. Like, so you adjust, you adjust things and maybe they can throw the ball and maybe you find out they can throw the ball. So you let them throw the ball one time and that's good. But you, 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 you got to play towards what somebody's good at. 